This is a tutorial on one of the methods that I use for carving decorative lake maps. Before starting the drawing program paint.net, I captured this image using the snip tool and pasted it in. If we zoom in, we can see that there are some shades of gray in this drawing and we want black and white. So we're going to use the posterize tool to convert to black and white. Next we're going to use the drawing tool to fill in or enclose all of the contour lines and also make sure that each of the contour lines is distinct from one another. Next, we use the paint bucket tool to paint every other contour uh, black so that we have a black and white uh, zebra when we're done. It's time to get rid of all the extraneous stuff on our map, so we're going to select the contours that we colored in, uh, then invert that selection and delete everything else. To create our grayscale image, we're going to start out using white as dry land. Then we color each contour a darker shade of gray, going in even steps. Next, select the dry land and then invert the selection so that we're only selecting the lake. Next, we apply a blur to smooth out the sharp contrasts of the contours. Some trial and error might be required here. Too much blur and the details get lost. Too little and you'll still see the sharp edges of the contours. The final editing step is to remove the dry land. Save the file in .png format. In Designer, import the image. Trim if desired. This could have also have been done with paint.net. finish and save the pattern to our library. Start a new project and set the board size. Select and place the pattern. Invert and remove feathering. Adjust the depth and height as you see fit. <laughs> 